Welcome back everyone. Today's tutorial will be a quick one addressing a question that I get asked a lot, and that is how do you get external views on Enigma's Cold War server tracks? Now this tutorial is going to be a short one specifically working with a Cold War server track, but what you learn here you'll be able to apply to any other server that has external view enforcement on. So the first thing we have to do is go to our um, mission editor, and we're going to hit open mission. And uh, now we've got uh, the default to the missions folder and missions file here in the dropdown, but we actually want to go see our track because we need to change the rules for that. So we'll go to DCS open beta and then tracks and then multiplayer. So you'll see all your multiplayer tracks in here, but right now there's nothing because it's going to show only the .mis files, the mission files. So we'll change that to tracks and now we can see our track files. Okay, I just did a very quick test um, track. So this is what they look like and hit OK. And now we're going to open this in the mission editor. If you were to play a full sortie um, it's, and you had the intention to film afterwards, you should disconnect from the server once the mission's done. If you continue to fly many sorties, the track file will get enormous and um, it's going to be hard to film if there's something that is maybe 45 minutes into the track and it's just the start of that mission that you're going to be going on and recording. So I totally recommend to restart after every sortie. Um, so now we're in the mission editor and we see everything of how the, how the game was uh, laid out in that period of time. All we have to do here is go to customize and then you've got mission options and under enforce there's a thing for external views, just click that off. It's gonna change it to that side. And uh, also the F10 view options, turn that off. And um, what that does is if you don't, if, if it's enforced, you're not gonna be able to see anything except yourself, just like end game when you're flying. And um, we don't want that because if you're trying to film things, it's a lot easier to be able to click on the other jets and helicopters to keep tabs on who's doing what, and quickly hop around. If um, you didn't do that, you can only cycle the F2 or F4 views to hop to like other aircraft, but you couldn't um, seek out a certain one on purpose. So always turn those two off, and that just makes your life easier when you're trying to film stuff. Okay, so now that we've turned the rules off, we need to save this. So we'll go to File, Save As. Okay, and um, once again, we're in the missions folder, but it's defaulting to .mis, and we don't want that. We want to change it to a track file that we can f record off of in the replay viewer. So we'll change that to tracks, and then we'll just rename this um, something to uh, test two for this one. Whatever helps. Okay. Once we've got that, we just hit OK. And um, in old versions of uh, DCS and the mission editor, this wouldn't show you the name. So it's difficult to know when the um, save, save as finally updated. You'd have to like click around, but because we now have the track file name being displayed here, it'll change once it's been updated. So we can just watch for that. Right now I can tell it's changing because the, the map is um, updating itself. Okay, so now that that's done, we see that the new file name is there. So now we're safe to close out of this. So we can go to file and exit. Okay, and from there we can just go to replay. Now, you have to remember where you're at, okay? Because we saved this in the, the missions folder. If, if it was by default, um, I think by default you'll you'll load up into tracks and it's not going to be there. So you need to hop around and remember where you put the file at. Um, so we'll go back down to missions. Where are you? There you are. Okay, and then test two was the one that we worked with today. And then we hit OK. Now we're going to load up. Oh, one thing I should note is um, if you were to record something on a track and then there was a, a DCS update after that track um, was created. If you were to try and view that track, it most likely wouldn't work. Um, so you're kind of screwed if you didn't get the uh, views and stuff you wanted before the DCS update. So 
keep that in mind because I often forget and it ruins getting footage. Okay, so now we can hit fly. And so if I hit F10, I can see all the other jets. See, this is the F10 stuff that I'm talking about. I can click on this guy. I can see what he's doing. Uh, maybe I want to see what this um, hind is doing. Okay. And then I can keep track of stuff this way. Um, if I wasn't doing that, then it would be very difficult to tell who's doing what. Um, so turn the F2 enforcement off and also turn the F10 enforcement off. So I'm still not logged in here, but you can see um, all the action you want. This is kind of a bug where you've got a... Um, okay, now I've logged in. So now if I want, I can see my external views. And I can do whatever I want with the uh, cameras and everything. So it's, it's that simple. All you have to do is go into the mission editor under mission options, turn off the F2, F10 enforcement, save that as a track file again, um, and then load that track file into the uh, replay viewer. And now you've got your external views on a server that has uh, the enforcement on. So hope that was helpful. Till next time, bye.